My name is Wade and welcome to uh, Beginner Cherokee. So uh, this is Ta'line, Ta'line, Talaki Adelo Kwaste, the second Cherokee lesson. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, check out the computer and we will uh, do a little bit of review. So um, we'll see what we remember from our last class and then move forward. So, um, so in our first class, um, we learned uh, the words to be named. Um, so, Kato Usti Dawadon Yonegi Kanti, Kato Usti Dawadon Yonegi Kanti. Katausti Tawaton, your negi canti. Wade, Tawaton, your negi canti. Wade, Tawaton, your negi canti. So that question said, Katausti, what, Tawaton, is my name, your negi canti, in English or using English, your negi canti. And of course, Wade, Tawaton, your negi canti. Wade is my name using English. Next question. Kato usti tawaton chalaki kanti. Kato usti tawaton chalaki kanti. Kato usti tawaton chalaki kanti. And the answer, unole, unole, tawaton chalaki kanti. Unole, tawaton chalaki kanti. So, um, just to do a comprehension check, Kato Usti means what? Tawaton is my name, Jalagi Ganti, using Cherokee. Jalagi meaning Cherokee and Ganti meaning using. So, uh, the next, and then the answer to that is Unole, Tawaton, Unole is my name, Jalagi Ganti, using Cherokee. Then, Kato uh, Usti. Do don't na a gayi askaya na don't ji wu we don't lay in. Kato usti do don't na a gayi askaya na don't ji wu we don't lay in. Kato usti do don't na a gayi askaya na don't ji wu we don't lay in. The answer to that is Neil Armstrong, do don't na agui askaya na don ji wu we do le. Okay, so the question again, uh, comprehension check, gado usti, what do don is his name na? We didn't talk about this, but the word na means the or that, it can mean these, it can mean those. So um, it's um, uh, an article, meaning the, that, these, those. Akayi, akayi means first. Askaya, askaya means man. Nedo, nedo is sun or moon. In this case, of course, it's the moon. Jiwu we do lei, that he walked around. Remember, we talked about that word. It means they walk around, but they come back, right? Jiwu we do lei. Neil Armstrong. Du don is the name, na, of the akai, first, askaya, man, na, do, moon, jiwu we do lei, who, that walked around and came back. All right, come. Italena means let's begin. Chalagi iti woni. Let's talk Cherokee. So here we have gitli. 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 Some communities or some speakers also say git. Git. And leave that final e sound off. Git. Git. And we have wesa. Wesa or wes, wes, gitli, wes, gitli, 
waste, gately meaning, of course, dog, waste meaning cat, okay? Gately, waste, gately, waste. So um, if we could go ahead and, and switch the camera really quick, um, I'll show you the um, signs for both of these. So for gately, for gately, you pat your pocket, um, just like whenever you uh, call your dog, right? You know, and so you pat your pocket twice, um, and that's gately, gately, gately. I'll do it kind of high on my hip so you can see. Gately, waist, waist, and this is the whiskers, right? Waist, waist, gately, waist, okay? So, um, Let's see, um, can you show me the sign for geetly? Geetly, geetly. And then how about wes? Wes. Show me wes. And then geetly. Good, all right. Now if we go back to our computer, um, so we have geetly and wes, right? So we're gonna talk about pets today. So we're going to talk about pets a little bit today. So uh, here's an interesting picture. So uh, let's talk about this picture. So the sentence that I'm going to give you says, Gitli uwe kan a ge hya. Gitli uwe kan a ge hya. So some of those words we already know. We learned agehya from the last class. Agehya means woman. Agehya means woman. And if you look in the picture, we see a woman there, right? Agehya. Then gitli, we just learned just a second ago. Gitli. Is gitli a cat or a dog? Is gitli a cat or a dog? Gitli is a dog. So, uh, and again, we see the dog in the picture. Uweka. Uweka means to have something alive, uweka, have something alive. So, gitli uweka agehya means the woman has a dog. The woman has a dog, gitli uweka agehya. And so you'll notice here the word order is a little bit different than how we would say it in English. So, um, oftentimes in Cherokee, the um, most important part of the sentence will go in the front. So in this case, it's gitli. Gitli uweka agehya. So the woman has a dog. Okay? So we're going to ask a few questions. We're going to ask a few questions about this uh, picture just to get a little more, bit more input and see if you can answer them, okay? So, gata usti uweka na agehya. Gata usti uweka na agehya. Gata usti means what? Uweka, we just learned, has na the agehya. Agehya, woman. So, gata usti uweka na agehya. If we translate it in that order, it says, what has that woman? Or what does the woman have? Okay, what does the woman have? Kata usti uweka na agehya. And the answer for that is gitli. Gitli. See that word in syllabary looks like YC, right? Gitli. Gitli uweka na agehya. Gitli uweka na agehya. That woman has a dog. Gitli uweka na agehya. Good. Okay, osta. Let's go to the next question. The next question says sawus yani gitli uweka na agehya 
sawusya ni gitli uweka na agehya. So let's unpack this sentence. Let's, let's kind of go through it word by word. So sawu, we learned, means one. The s at the end, sawus. That's how you know I'm asking you a yes or no question. If I put a s at the end, sawus. So if I wanted to ask you, is it a dog? All I would have to say is gitlis, gitlis, with an s sound at the end, gitlis. So here we have sawus, one, yani. Yani is a quantity word. So one quantity, gitli, dog, uweka, has, na, the, agehya. Sawus, yani, gitli, uweka, na, agehya. So um, in the word order as it is, it says, one quantity dog has the woman. And of course, um, in uh, English that makes a little more sp sense to speakers, we would say, does the woman have one dog? And that's a yes or no question. So the answer would either be uh or kla. So I'll ask the question, And the answer is, uh, uh, yes. Sawu da, sawu, meaning one, the da on the end of that is an affirmative, saying that that's in fact true. Sawu da, yani, quantifier word, gitli, dog, uweka, has, na, agehya, that woman. So um, some speakers would ye leave the yani off. And so it's fine if you don't put it in there. You could say, uh, That would be perfectly fine to say. They would understand you. So, um, <clears throat> so be aware that that, that quantifier word, yani, um, can either be in there or you can uh, leave it out. But um, it's, a, it's a little more proper, I guess, to, to, to put it in there, okay? Then this question says, Wesas, Wesas, Uweka, Agehya, Wesas, Uweka, Agehya. So if we remember the word Wesa, Wesa, meow, right? Wesa, Wesas, Wesas, is it a cat? Uweka has Agehya. Wesas uweka agehya. Kla. Kla wesa uweka na agehya. Gitli uweka na agehya. So kla. Kla means no. Kla wesa uweka. Not a cat. So to, to make things negative in Cherokee, you put kla in front, and then on the verb, you put a Y sound at the front of that verb. So in this case, it would be uweka becomes uweka. Kla wesa uweka na agehya. That woman doesn't have a cat. Gitli uweka na agehya. The woman has a dog. This question says, Hilayani gitli uweka na agehya. Hilayani, Hilayani means how many. Hilayani 
means how many. Hilayani is used for living things. Hilayani, or some people say Hilanani instead of Yani. Some communities use Nani instead. Hilayani Gitli Uweka Na Agehya. So Hilayani, how many? Gitli dogs. Uweka has na the agehya. Hilayani gitli uweka na agehya. And then if we remember the word sawu yani gitli uweka na agehya. Sawu yani gitli uweka na agehya. One quantifier word, gitli, dog, ueka, has, na agehya, the woman. All right. <clears throat> this next question says, askayas, askayas, agehya, ke, gitli, ueka. So here's a new way to, to ask a question. Askayas uh, means, is it a man, right? Askaya means man, and then this at the end makes it a yes or no question. So, is it a man? Askayas, is it a man? Agehya, ke. Agehya means woman. Ke, when you put a ke at the end of it, it means or. So, askayas, is it a man? Agehya, ke. Or, is it a woman? Gitli. Ueka, that has a dog. Askayas, agehya ke, gitli ueka. So is it a man or is it a woman that has a dog? Agehya, gitli ueka. A woman, agehya, gitli ueka, has a dog. Agehya gitli ueka. Very good. Okay, here's a new word for you guys. So we're going to learn some, some new words, and this is a, a, a good word to know. This says, Utanas usti ke gitli ueka na agehya. Utan, utan means big. Usti means small. Utan, usti. So utanas, usti, ke. What do you think that might um, ask? Utanas, usti, ke. Utanas means is it big? Usti, ke. Or is it small? Gitli, uweka na agehya. The dog that the woman has. And of course, if we look at the picture, Utan, utana. You can say utan or utana. Utan, gitli, ueka, na, agehya. Utan, big dog that she has. Utan, gitli, ueka, na, agehya. Okay, here's another question word for you. Gago. Gago, gitli, ueka. Gago, who? Gago means who. Gago, gitli, ueka. Who has a dog? Gago, gitli, ueka. And the answer is agehya. Agehya. Gitli ueka. Agehya gitli ueka. The woman has the dog. Gago. So you can use that word just by itself. Gago. And then it means just who is it? Gago. Who is it? Okay. 
So we have our picture. Let's see if you can remember the sentence. How, are you, how would you say the woman has a dog? Gitli uwe ka a gehya. Gitli uwe ka a gehya. Now we have we sa uwe ka a skaya. We sa uwe ka a skaya. So, what do you think that sentence might mean? We know, we should know all of the words in it. Wesa, of course, is cat. Uweka means to have a living being. And askaya means man. Wesa uweka askaya. Gitli uweka agehya. Wesa uweka askaya. Okay? So, Try to remember those two, two sentences because we're going to ask some questions about both of them. So we have Gitli Uweka Ageya Wesa Uweka Askaya. All right, so here are um, our two pictures to kind of remind you, um, uh, to, to remind you what we have. And then over here on the right, we have our question words. We have Gatta Usti. Gata usti means what? Gago. Gago means who? And then we have hilayani. Hilayani, which means how many? Hilayani, how many? Okay. So our first question asks Gata usti uweka na askaya. Gata usti uweka na askaya. Okay, I'm not going to translate these for you this first time around, and then we'll do all of the questions, and then we'll go back through and check your comprehension to see how much of it you understood. Gata usti uweka na askaya. We sa uweka na askaya. We sa uweka na Oskaya. Gago Gitli Uweka. Gago Gitli Uweka. Gago Gitli Uweka. Age Huja Gitli Uweka. Age Huja Gitli. Uweka. Next question. Utanas usti ke gitli uweka na agehya. Utanas usti ke gitli uweka na agehya. Utan. Utana gitli uweka na agehya. Utana gitli uweka na agehya. All right. So let's go back through and check our understanding. The first question says, Gato usti uweka na askaya. That question says, What? Does the man have? Gata usti uweka have na askaya. What does the man have? And the answer says, Wesa uweka na askaya. The man has a cat. Wesa uweka na askaya. The next question says, Kago. Gitli uweka. Gago gitli uweka. Who has the dog? Gago gitli uweka. 
who has the dog? And the answer is, a ge yu cha, a ge hu cha, gitli ueka. This actually should be a ge hya. A ge hu cha is a girl. A ge hya is a woman. So um, that's a mistake on there. So it should say, a ge hya, gitli ueka. The woman has a dog. A ge hya, gitli ueka. The next question says, Utanas usti ke gitli ueka na agehya. Utanas usti ke gitli ueka na agehya. Is it big or is it small? The dog that the woman has. And the answer is, Utan. Gitli uweka na agehya. The dog is big. It's a big dog that the woman has. All right. So hopefully you did really well with that and you understood all of those questions and you were able to answer them. So we're going to do a, a little story here, okay? So we have Gitli, which we already know, right? We have Gitli. And then underneath that, we have um, another word, Digalogiski. Digalogiski. Digalogiski means farmer. Okay, Digalogiski means farmer. Gitli. And then Digalogiski. So let's see um, what we can learn about the farmer. So this is Jalagi Kanoagiski. Okay. This is Gitli Uweka Digalogiski. Gitli Uweka Digalogiski. Can you guess what that means in English? Gitli Uweka Digalogiski. The farmer has a dog. Gitli Uweka Digalogiski. The farmer has a dog. Bingo do don't ah. Bingo do don't ah. Bingo is its name. Bingo is its name. And then B I N G O do don't ah. B I N G O do don't ah. B I N G O do so as you've probably guessed by now, this is a song. Most of you probably, um, probably already know it in English. And of course, the song is um, bingo, right? Gitli ueka digalogiski. Bingo do don't ah. B-I-N-G-O, 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 bingo do don't ah. Right? So this is um, a short little story, right? Um, not a very exciting story, but um, let's ask some questions so uh, to see if we understand what's going on. So the first question says, Gato usti uweka digalogiski. Gato usti uweka digalogiski. Gato usti meaning what? Uweka has digalogiski. And what's digalogiski? Farmer. So what does the farmer have? What does the farmer have? And the answer is gitli uweka digalogiski. Gitli uweka digalogiski. The farmer has a dog. Gitli uweka digalogiski. The next question. Gato usti du don na gitli juweka digalogiski. Gato usti du don na gitli juweka digalogiski. Gato usti means what? Du don, if you remember, means is his name na gitli, the dog, 
Juweka. You see there's a J sound in there, just as we had before. And this means that he has. Juweka Digalogiski, farmer. So what is the name of the dog that the farmer has? Bingo. Do don na gitli juweka digalo giski. Bingo do don na gitli juweka digalo giski. Good. Last question says ga go, ga go. That's a question word meaning who. Ga go gitli uweka. Ga go gitli uweka. Ga go e gitli uweka. Digalo giski, gitli uweka. Digalo giski, gitli uweka. Um, the word farmer uh, is kind of fun to say once you once you learn it. Digalo giski, digalo giski, gitli uweka. So the question said, "Gago gitli uweka." Who has a dog? And the answer, of course, is digalo giski, the farmer. Gitli Uweka has a dog. Right? All right. So um, let's go ahead and let's sing the song. So uh, I know you all know the, the tune to it, so um, you can sing along with me. Um, so, Jalagi Kanogiski, Didi Nogi, Sawu Tal Jong. Gitli uweka digalo giski bingo du doa b i n g o b i n g o b i n g o bingo du doa. Good. As you know, this song. <clears throat> There's a, a twist to the song, right? And so we're going to do it with the twist, but we're going to learn them all in Cherokee. So, no wu now. Di di no gi tong. Tong. Di di no gi. Tong. Tong. Di di no gi. Tong. Di di no gi. Sa wu you walked. You walked. Sa wu you walked. Didasi tunega. Okay? Didasi tunega. All right? And so um, if we can um, go ahead and we'll, um, we'll change the camera to, to me. And um, so um, uh, I'll sing it for you. You can sing along. So no wu tong didi no gi. Sa wu you walked. Didasi tunega. Sa wu. No wu, no wu, or no ju means are you ready? It's kind of a, a slang way of asking are you ready? No ju, di di no gi sa wu to jong. Gi tli u we ka di galo gi ski bingo du do wa. I in gi o, I in gi o, I in gi o bingo du do wa. No wu, no wu, tong di di no gi, stai, stai means loud, di da si ga, okay? So, tla tong yik, stai, okay? Ta you walked, ta you walked, di da si ga, sa wu ta. Excuse me. So, tong di di no gi, Stai di dasi ga. Okay? So I won't, I'll pretend like I'm doing it loud, but I won't do it really loud, okay? Nozu di di no gi sa wu ta jong. Gi li u we ka di galo gi ski bingo du do wa. In gi o. In gi o. In G O bingo do do What's that? No wu. Jong you walked. Di dot si turn ega. Sa wu tall. Jong. 
Cho you walk the dosi tanega. Kajanul, Kajanul means fast. Kajanul didi nogi. Kajanul didi nogi. Cho you walk the dosi tanega. Sawutal don't. No zu. Hawa. Didi nogi. Sawutal don't. Gitli you wake a digalo giski bingo do doa. Gio. Gio. Gio bingo do doa. What's that? No wo. Uskanoli. Uskanoli. What do you think uskanoli might mean? If gajanul means fast, uskanoli means slow. Uskanoli. Didi nogi. Nuk. Nuk. New number. Nuk you walked. Didasi tanega. Sawutal jo. Nuk. Nuk you walked. Didasi tanega. Sawutal jo. Nuk. Uskanoli. Didi nogi. Noju. Sawu ta jong. Git liu we ka digalo giski bingo du dong. Oh. Oh. Oh, bingo do do Oh, new, oh, new, last. Mm. Do us to do, Lee, what do you want? Gajanulis uskanoli, okay? Do you want it fast or do you want it slow? Gajanulis uskanoli, okay? Didi nogi, do you want us to sing fast or slow? Gajanul, gajanul, didi nogi. Hisk, hisk you walked, didasi tuniga, sawutal jona kisk, sawutal jona kisk, you walked, didasi tuniga, gajanul didi nogi, noju, sawutal jon, gitli ueka digalo kiski bingo du doa, bingo du doa, osta, all right, and so now, that is the um, bingo song. So that's the bingo song in Cherokee. Uh, so now you know that and you can teach it to, to other people. Um, so let's go back to our computer and we'll check it out in uh, Cherokee. So Gitli Ueka Digalo Giski Bingo Du Don. B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O Bingo Du Don. And that part in parentheses says Jon E, you walked. Jong e you walked. What do you think that means? Jong e means three. You walked means times. Three times. So, and we also learned some um, some other really valuable words. We learned ton, ton, which means soft. We learned stai, which means loud. It can also mean hard. Um, we learned gajanul, which is fast. Uskano means slow. Nowu, now. And we also learned noju. Noju means are you ready? Um, literally, I think it, it means like, you know, now. Uh, asking a question now. You know, but, but a lot of times that's what we use to ask if somebody's ready. You know, when we're getting ready to go somewhere or something like that, you say noju. You know, um, so um, so this is the bingo song. Kitliu weka digalo giski bingo du don. All right. So here's a paragraph about me. Okay. So I'm going to read it to you uh, a couple times, and then we're going to go through it and see how much of it. Uh, this first time, just listen to it and see how much comes to you. So it says, O Sio, we da waton, Jalaki kantino, uno le da waton, Ji skaya, Sawu wes, Sawu gitli at, Da gi ka, Miss Cleo du don na wes, Ja gi ka, Na wes, U wodge ju lolti u suit, 
pretty buddy puddles do don na geetly art jagi ka da lonege ul su wit buddy um e jula do you unika heast okay so there's some brand new words in there but there's some words in there that you already know um, so I'm going to read it back. Um, I'm going to go through it again really slow. And this time try to pick out as many words as you can. Okay, so it says, O si yo, wei da wa don. Jalagi kanti no, uno le da wa don. Ji skaya. Sa wu wes, sa wu gitli at. Doggy ka. Miss Cleo do don na wes jaggy ka. Na wes u wood ge ju lol te u su it. Pretty buddy puddles do don na geetly art jaggy ka. Dalone ge u su it. Buddy. E jewel. Do you unique heist? All right. So hopefully you picked out at least a couple of words in there that, that you recognized. So um, the first one says OCO. OCO means hello. Wade da wadon. My name is Wade. Jalagi ganti no. In Cherokee, that no at the end, that's um, kind of like how we make a, a run on sentence. It, it's just attaching what I'm saying now to what I said before, because I was talking about my name, Wei Dawadon, Jalagi Ganti No, and in Cherokee, Unole Dawadon, my name's Unole. Jiskaya, we learned the word Askaya. Askaya means man. Jiskaya means I am a man. Jiskaya, that G at the front indicates I am. So if you wanted to say, I am a woman, the word for woman is agehya. So you would say, but in this case, jiskaya. Sawu wes, one cat. Sawu gitli ot. Sawu, one dog. And then ot means young, a young animal. So ot. In, so, Gitli Ot would be a puppy, right? Da Gi Ka. I have them. Da Gi Ka. A Gi Ka means I have one of them. Da Gi Ka means I have two or more, okay? So, Da Gi Ka. Sa Wu Wes. Sa Wu Gitli Ot. Da Gi Ka. Miss Cleo Du Dong. Miss Cleo is the name. Na Wes of the cat. Jagi ka that I have. Jagi ka. Na wes the cat. U wodege. U wodege is a color. U wodege means brown. Okay. Julolti. Julolti is striped. So julolti. U suit means colored. Okay. So na wes u wodege. Julolti u suit means the cat is colored with brown stripes, okay? The cat's colored with brown stripes. Pretty buddy, pretty buddy puddles do don na gitli at jagi ka. Pretty buddy puddles do don is the name na gitli at jagi ka of the dog that I have. Um, by the way, I did not name pretty buddy puddles. So uh, my, my niece named, named Buddy. So, Delonege Usuit, buddy. Delonege is another color. So, yellow. Usuit, buddy. So, buddy is colored yellow. Ijula. Ijul means both. Do you very. Unikahist. Very cute. Both of them are very cute. Osio, wei dawadon. Jalagi gantino. Unole dawadon. Jiskaya. Sawu wes, sawu gitli at dagi ka. Miss Cleo do don na wes jagi ka. Na wes u wodike ju lol ti u suit. Pretty buddy puddles do don na gitli at jagi ka. 
Dalonike u suit buddy. Ichul do you unikahist. So that's the entire paragraph. Hopefully you were able to understand quite a bit of that. So real quickly, we're going to review. OCO. OCO means hello. Wait, da wadon. Wait is my name. Jalagi ganti no. Unole da wadon. And in Cherokee, unole is my name. Jiska ya. I am a man. Sawu we. Sawu gitlia da gika. I have one puppy and one cat. Miss Cleo do dona we. Jaki ka. Miss Cleo is the name of the cat that I have. Na we su wotike ju lolti u su it. The cat has brown stripes. Pretty Buddy Puddles do do na gitli a ja gi ka. Pretty Buddy Puddles is the name of the puppy that I have. Dalonike u su it, Buddy. Buddy is yellow colored. Ichul do yu unikahis. They're both really cute. All right. So the questions are kata usti. Um, do don na gitli a cha gi ka. Kata usti do don na gitli a cha gi ka. What's the name? Pretty buddy puddles do don na gitli a. Okay. So what is the name of the puppy that I have? Pretty buddy puddles do don na gitli a. Hilayani we sa a gi ka. Hilayani means how many? Hilayani we sa a gi ka. How many cats do I have? Sawu. Sawu wes agi ka. Jiskayas jigehya ke. Jiskayas jigehya ke. So remember when you have the s and the ke, it's an either or question. Jiskayas jigehya ke. Am I a man or am I a woman? Jiskaya. Kata usti tawadong, kata usti tawadong, wade tawadong. Kata usti u suwit na gitli at. What color? Kata usti u suwit na gitli at. Is the gitli at is the puppy. Dalonige u suwit na gitli at. All right, so I have just a couple minutes, and so we're going to talk about this word ueka. In some communities, ueka only is used when it's physically in your hand, because it means to have, right? It means he or she has, and, and so they only use it um, when it's physically in your possession. But in other communities, they, they use it like, like we use it in English, you know, I have a dog. And, and that means not necessarily I have it in my possession right now, but it means that I have a dog at home. Instead of ueka, some people use unatla. Unatla means to own, okay? Unatla means to own something, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but in the communities that I come from, unatla is only reserved for animals that work, such as livestock, uh, working dogs, hunting dogs, things like that. Um, you can also use the word ueka not only for pets, but you can also use them for children. Like I could say, Sawu um, ayotli agika. I have one child. So um, anyway, so we um, hope that uh, I hope that you had a a, a great uh, second lesson, and I hope you enjoyed and you learned a lot and you learned words that you can use. So. Um, in our next lesson, we will continue on and we will talk more about um, uh, ourselves and other people in Cherokee. So we want to say, Wadon, don da, go han i, i di squata. We're finished. Thank you.